Welcome to Android Studio Setup Walkthrough for Windows. To get started, go to developer.android.com slash studio, then click Download Android Studio. You have to read Google's terms and conditions, and if you agree, press the checkbox and click Download Android Studio for Windows. After downloading the Android Studio installer, click on the file and you will be prompted to the Android Studio setup. Now we keep all the default settings and click next, 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 and install. Then. Now that the installation is done, we start Android Studio. The first time we open Android Studio, we will be prompted to its setup wizard. It's going to tell you that it is missing Android SDK or Software Development Kick. Now click Next. You can change the Android SDK location to your liking, but for now we will stay at its default location. Make sure that your computer has enough space to install the necessary files for Android development. Now, you click Next. Then, it will start downloading its necessary files for Android development. After a while it's done, we now click Finish. On another note, if you are prompted to a page for the install type, be sure to check the standard option. Then, you can choose your preference for the UAT. After verifying the settings by clicking the Finish button, the necessary files for a software development kit will also start downloading, and after the waiting game, you're good to go. If you're going to use Kotlin for your future project, make sure that Kotlin is under the installed category in Android Studio's plugins. To verify, click Configure, then go to Plugins. Search for Kotlin and make sure that it is installed and enabled. From here, let's create a new project. As we all see, we are prompted to select a project template in which we should select Empty Activity. Then by default, we finish the configuration for the project. However, if you want, you could change the location of the project to your liking. After this, we will wait for Android Studio to check and if necessary, download Gradle. Note that this will take quite a while depending on your bandwidth. As you can see, the, down the downloading as well as the status for the setup of your project could be found on the lower right. A virtual emulator takes up a lot of memory that could slow down your computer. So, a solution to this would be to use your Android device to test and run your project. So, while waiting for the setup of the project, a SDK tool must be installed in order for us to connect our Android phone to Android Studio. To do this, go to Settings. Click on System Settings. <clears throat> then Android SDK. In this, you should see the SDK tool category. And within it, we must ensure that the Google USB driver is installed. Move on to your Android device. Go to Settings, then About Phone, then click on your UI build 7 times. You will begin seeing a message as you approach the 7 touches. Once completed, you should be able to have the developer options in your settings. Under the developer options, make sure that the USB debugging and stay awake are activated. After allowing USB debugging on your phone, you should see this message when you connect your phone into the computer. Then, you are good to go. 
For reference, by playing the play button on Android Studio, your phone will download an application that look like the apps below. If the conditions are met, you should see your device beside the play button. However, some phones won't be visible because of security issues. If you are encountering this problem, right-click this PC and click Manage. You will be prompted to the Computer Manager. Then, go to Device Manager. Here, if you navigate on the Universal Bus Devices or Controllers, you should see your device or a set of question marks on a specific item. Right-click on that device and update driver. Click on Browse My Computer. Then, click on Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Then after the loading, click on Have Disk, then Browse. By default, the Google USB driver can be found on Users Then click on your username App Data Local Android SDK Then click on Extras Click on Google Then click on the USB driver Then click on the Android Win USB, then open. This should allow your device to connect to Android Studio. If not, unplug and plug your device. By following these steps, it would start your journey on becoming a future under developer. For more information, please visit developer.under.com slash studio slash intern. Additionally, you can also seek help from us by visiting our website or our Facebook page shown on the screen. Thank you and have a nice day from the SC Taft.